What's good, bro? We back in here. Today, we're going to be going over the newly released gameplay from DLC 4. If you guys have not seen the official trailer, I do have it up on the screen. But if you guys want to watch the trailer without me talking and without my own background music, I will have a link to that video in the description down below. It was my recently last posted video, so you guys can just go check it out if you want to. But let's get into the video. First thing I want to talk about is Super Saiyan Blue vegito as i said in previous videos i was wondering how they were going to do the attributes for this character due to the fact that super saiyan blue vegito already had what seemed like to me the best attributes in this game like by far over all of the other characters the only one that in my opinion could even compare was super saiyan blue goku and super saiyan gogeta but it seems like to me they kept the same exact attributes for super saiyan blue vegito that doesn't make too much sense to me but at the same time in order to keep the game balanced it does make sense because hey if they had boosted anything on him yeah all i gotta say is gg gg to the pvp community it's over Super Saiyan Blue Vegito actually has a new combo set that we have not seen before. It's different from the regular Vegitos. They're not changing the regular Vegitos combo set. It's just a new combo set for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I like it a whole lot better. I really do like it a whole lot better. I like it to the point where I even could tell when to do the heavy and the light stamina breaks just by watching the live stream with Rhyme Style and Afro Senju. Every time I saw the opportunity for somebody to do a stamina break, I was over here screaming. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Other than the brand new combos, Vegito also got two new supers, which I believe our CACs will be able to get. Those are Savage Strike and Spear Stab. Savage Strike, I don't know if it does just as much damage as God Fist, but I've noticed that they do have a similar animation, if not the exact same animation. And there are two ways you can use it. Now, I do not know exactly how this works, but I do know that you can use Savage Strike and teleport towards your opponent before actually throwing the punch out there, or you could just throw the punch out there normally. I don't know exactly how that works due to the fact that I have not played the DLC yet, of course. Spear Stab is also another move that Super Saiyan Blue Vegito has in his arsenal and i believe this is another move that our cacs will be able to get i think our cacs will be able to get literally every single move that is coming out in this dlc except for divinity unleash or it, even that might be available to our cacs i don't know yet but anyway spirit stab is a stagger move it's just a quick stab you guys know the amount of time that it normally takes for you to throw spirit sword out there like that quick stab or whatever you want to call it with the spirit sword that's the same amount of time that spirit stab seems to take like you know it's just spirit sword but without the slashes right after you feel me and it seemed like to me that the stab does not stagger your opponent that much but even if it does not stagger your opponent that much, it still can be very effective, especially when you're at the end of the game and you just need to get some quick contact with your opponent without getting too close to him, you feel me? So Spirit Stab is a very good move. It can be used very tactically and it really could save your life, like literally could save your life at the end of the game. I like that move. Let's move on to Merge Zamasu though. Now this is a character that kind of threw me off at first. It took me a while to realize when his stamina break was. That's really all I was looking for when I was watching this gameplay at first because I kind of already figured how the supers and everything was going to work. So I was just mainly looking for the stamina break because to pull off ultimates in this game, it seems like you really do have to pull off a stamina break in order to get it out, you feel me? But I learned Zamasu stamina break just by watching. But let's talk about the supers. Let's talk about the new supers that we have with Merge Zamasu. We have Holy Wrath. You guys should know what that is. If you guys don't know what that is, think of it as like a mini supernova or a mini sphere of destruction that Zamasu can just throw at you very fast. And it's not a move that does a whole lot of damage, but it still can hurt you nonetheless. Like it does a decent amount of damage. It does a decent amount. It's just not a move that I'm crazy about. You feel me? At least not yet. He has another move called Blades of Judgment. That reminds me of regular Zamasu's Heavenly Arrow except it has way more AOE. So it's definitely a better move than Heavenly Arrow. That's what it seems like, at least. But at the same time, it seemed like Heavenly Arrow has better tracking than Blades of Judgment. We'll have to wait and see, though. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know for sure, but that's just what it seemed like to me while I was watching the gameplay, you feel me? Another move that I'm very excited about is Lightning of Absolution. As soon as I saw this move in the anime, I got so hyped, bruh. This move just looks cool as hell, and I'm happy that it does a good amount of damage, too. 
pretty much what you do is you just call down lightning upon your opponent and it does i think two or three hits towards your opponent maybe even four i don't know but it hurts at the end of the day it still hurts no matter how many hits it does you're still going to do a good amount of damage to your opponent if you can get the move to land Murd Zamasu also has a new charge which is called Divinity Unleashed. It looks cool. It looks cool. I don't know if our CACs are going to be able to get it and I also don't know how that charge fares against, or well, I wouldn't say fares, how that charge compares to the other charges in this game like maximum charge and we all know how the other charges compare but anyway that's just something i'm gonna have to wait and find out for myself when the dlc drops for us on tuesday that's not confirmed by the way we don't know for a fact that the dlc is dropping on tuesday but due to the past history with the releases of dlc we can just assume that the dlc is going to be dropping on tuesday and the free update will be coming on monday now let's talk about this new ultimate that Zamasu has. Now, I told you guys about Holy Wrath earlier. His ultimate is called Divine Wrath Purification. And it's pretty much just a way larger version of Holy Wrath. And it does a lot of damage and it fires fast too. It's like a very fast version of Sphere of Destruction. I love it. I really love this move. I'm gonna definitely be putting this on my CAC. I believe that this move will be available for CACs. I don't know why it wouldn't, but yeah this move hey i like it i love it in fact but now it's time it's time to cut the music it's time to cut the music cut the music i have something to tell you guys i have something to tell you guys i'm very sad about this i'm very sad about this i'm very disappointed i promise you guys i'm just as disappointed as you guys are we're not getting super saiyan rage trunks we're not getting the rage transformation we're not getting that as a playable character we can't use that and it breaks my heart. Not really, but it is a little bit disappointing. But hey, on the bright side, we did get the Sword of Hope. Or is it called the Holy... I'm, I'm going to call it the Holy, the Holy Sword. That's what I'm going to forever call this thing. You guys might call it the Sword of Hope. Nope, it's the Holy Sword to me. I'm sorry. But on this channel, that is what it's going to be called. Okay, so the Holy Sword is an awakening, kind of. All right, so pretty much what you do is when you pull out the sword, and you guys should know what the sword is. If you guys don't know what the sword is, this was the sword that Trunks used to kill Zemasu. Spoilers, I'm sorry, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Trunks pulled out the sword and he killed Zemasu with it. And in this game, if you pull out the sword, it instantly starts draining your key. But at the same time, while you have this sword out, you have super armor. Like when humans use the fly nimbus your combo set is also changed when you use this ultimate and i know i said earlier that this was kind of an awakening and that's why I, that's why i meant it kind of is an awakening but it is an ultimate at the end of the day and a lot of you guys might be questioning well what do you do to inflict the amount of damage that you need to do if it is an ultimate all you gotta do is press the same buttons that you use to get into the holy sword state in order to do that huge slash in order to do the damage that you should be doing with your ultimate i feel like i didn't explain that the best way possible i'm sorry if you guys did not pick up while i was trying to dish out hopefully you did but let's move on i'm done talking about anything regarding trunks gameplay we finally have some new information about the clothes slash accessories for our cac's the first thing that i want to discuss with you guys is the saiyan tail and i said in my last video that there were speculations that the saiyan tail did not move and that it kind of resembled the same position that the Spike the Devil Man's tail has. And sure enough, guys, as of right now, the tail does not move. And a lot of people are very disappointed about this. Afro and Rhyme said that they would try to do something about this in order to get the tail to move. Like, everyone wants this. Everyone wants this tail to be animated, man. Everybody wants the tail to be animated. It's like, why is it even here if it does not move? And my solution to this problem would be to just make it animate or move the same way that the freezes tail moves i feel like that would just make everyone content but hey they can do whatever they want to do as long as it moves i'm content but i just don't want a stiff ass curled tail behind me i really don't i will never put that accessory on if it does not move i promise you all right and there's one last thing that i want to discuss with you guys in regards to cac's a lot of people have been asking a lot of people have been wondering will the super saiyan 4 costume be available for female cac's the answer to your question is yes 
but the problem that i have is that dirty ass sports bra that they always make us wear that is so annoying it's understandable that it's there but i really wish it wasn't bruh i really wish that they just made the fur like cover cover up the nipple and everything of the female character i feel like that would be acceptable i really feel like that would be acceptable but i don't know maybe maybe they felt like it would just be unprofessional or inappropriate but i mean like bruh it's, the way i see it they have the training suit which is like skin tight pressed up on your character's boobs they have the camo bikini and they also have toa's outfit so i just don't see why they couldn't just make the fur cover up the you know what anyway let me just end this video before i go on a rant about super saiyan 4 females all right thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video comment down below how you feel about dlc4 about this free update that's going to be coming out as well have a wonderful day i'm out bro